The most important thing that stands out to me is the nurturing. The way the children are treated, the way that the teachers really care about each child. The classrooms were just warm and inviting. Um, there was no um, cookie cutter art on the walls. It was all just beautiful, creative environment that I thought my children would thrive in. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. The very first day when we did that first visit where you come in and you spend you know an hour or two in the class, um, she actually crawled out of my lap, which was, uh, that was a huge step for her. I know that that doesn't seem like a big deal, but she is so slow to warm up that that was, that was huge. I was afraid in this other school that she would be bored sitting down at a desk coloring worksheets where she's more of a hands-on child um, and learns better that way. So I was looking for a school that would be a better fit. He has a tendency to be more introverted and uh, he wouldn't speak up in class. Now he's open, he talks with the teacher as he would talk to me at home. He's behaving as himself in school, which is very important to me. I have a child who is definitely um, um, high needs, and I find that the teachers here, um, they, they respect his differences, and they encourage his differences, and they foster his differences, rather than him being in trouble all the time. They just all feel special. We were looking for some place for our children. I was mommy with a two-year-old and I had a lot of friends who also had two-year-olds. And when we looked around at the schools, we didn't see what we wanted for our children. And so we formed a group and we started meeting. And we had some educators from UAB and Birmingham Southern that were also very interested in this idea of some new uh, kind of school in Birmingham. We were looking for something that would really treat each of our children as an individual and make them a completely well-rounded person at the same time and that would really involve their emotions and their physical being as well as their intellect. So in terms of the philosophy behind Waldorf education, it's comprised of three pieces and uh, they're commonly called thinking, feeling, and willing. And as I put together a main lesson for the day, I am sure that my lesson includes components that will appeal to any child's thinking life, what's going on inside their heads, to any child's feeling life, which is where their emotions are, and to the child's willing life, which is what are we gonna do with our hands? What are we gonna do with this knowledge? The way that the curriculum is carried through in every aspect physically, mentally, and, um, and, and artistically for them that in, in some part of the day, whether they're drawing it, they're marching it, or they're, um, or they're writing it, they, it becomes true to them. And no child's learning styles will be neglected. Learning how to um, knit and all the hand modeling, the modeling with the clay and the painting has been a plus for my oldest as well as my son. My baby girl just likes to play, so <laughs> she likes having that home environment. What's special about it is that the children are engaged with the learning, and the teachers work really hard to achieve that level of engagement, because one of the basic premises behind Waldorf education is that if the child is engaged in what's going on, then the attention follows suit, and then the learning follows that. I feel 
very grateful that the school has thrived as it has in Birmingham. It's brought together a lot of people who really think about life and really want the best for their children and helped create a, a nicer place for those children to grow up and for the adults to be together in. Because as we try to become more conscious about living and more conscious about raising our children, the more we help each other, the better job we can do.